Hey Flosstube! This is Tara with Willed Woman Crafts. If you're new here, this is a floss tube channel that is all about cross stitch and cross stitch goodies as you will see I'm sure by the title and in this video today March is just keeping it coming with the goodies so today we are here to unbox Black Needle Society's Saturday morning stitching box which arrived a mere few hours ago and oh you can read their <laughs> their socials there um I will give you lots of good info at the end um but I want to get to the good stuff first so let's dive into this box oh my gosh okay <gasps> already seeing things okay so as I said this is the Saturday morning stitching box um so exciting so cute here's our spoiler card so inside we get a nice little note from Katie and Laura the geniuses behind the Black Needle Society and currently available to order is the July Stitching Under the Stars box I can't wait to see what they come up with that one and I think at the end I'll highlight they feature some books that fit with the theme as well and they highlight the book club which again, like I said, we'll, we'll get to that at the end. We'll get through the goodies first, if that's just what you're here for. So right off the top, I'm seeing a adorable little bag here with some worms <laughs> attached. Oh my gosh, are these donut socks? <laughs> Look at the fun color of those. Oh, how fun are these? Okay, let's see. Um, Donut socks curated by the Black Needle Society. Saturdays were extra special when we got to have donuts, but being don't but getting donuts means getting up early and walking on cold floors. Keep your toes toasty while you grab your breakfast. I love that. I what did your family have like brand loyalty to a specific donut place? Was there a local place? We were a big Krispy Kreme family, and then at some point we became ships donuts people I think I'm still team Krispy Kreme though but I think my sister somebody was one of my siblings was a cahoot so we became a ships family <laughs> but oh my gosh okay I don't even I just feel like I have to go for this I was gonna try to save this but it's just it's taking up a lot of space in this box and it's so alluring what could it be not the cereal bowl <laughs> Stitches hoop loops. Oh, it's like fruit loops. Look at this. This is I, it's more speckled, but oh my gosh, that's so cute. I was almost gonna say like it's like terrazzo vibes, but that's not correct. It's speckled. <laughs> um so, that's so cute. Okay, hoop loop cereal bowl designed by the Black Needle Society. Pour yourself a bowl of every stitcher's favorite cereal, hoop loops. Maybe all the sugar will kick your stitching into overdrive while you watch your favorite morning cartoons. I love this. It's so nice and ceramic. Oh, this is this is an excellent snacking bowl size. I think I'm gonna get my little afternoon fruit snack going in here. Love, so thoughtful. Okay, let's see what we got next. Ooh, multiple magnetized things. Okay, let's grab some of these. All right, first up we have is like I guess what thread jewelry or like a um a scissor fob cereal starter the cereal puns I'm dead oh that's so cute okay let's see <laughs> oh zipper pull also a zipper pull you know you can attach this to anything cereal starter zipper pull designed by the Black Needle Society are you a cereal starter we created the perfect cereal box inspired zipper pull for you to put on your next project you want to start I am I'm loving all the colors in this this is so fun okay so something else that was magnetized a little needle case oh 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 yeah nice nice big bar there for holding your goodies remote needle case made by the black needle society oh made by nice don't change that channel, but maybe change out that needle. Use this remote controlled inspired needle case to keep track of your extra needles while stitching. 
or to take needles safely when traveling. Genius, so cute. Like I said, loving like the colors. So as always, so good. Okay, so the last <laughs> magnetic thing is our exclusive needle minder. You could just come in from the top, no need to tear. Here we go. What do we got? I can't, is this a TV screen? It looks like Looney Tunes. Oh my gosh. I can get there. Oh my goodness. Looks like the Looney Tunes logo and it says Saturday morning stitching, black, a Black Needle Society cartoon color by Technicolor. Oh my gosh. Saturday morning stitching needle minder, artwork by the Black Needle Society. This needle minder screen was inspired by the Looney Tunes intro card, um, but it isn't a Saturday morning stitching show. But isn't a Saturday morning stitching show just a fancy name for floss tube? That's all folks. There you go. Are you watching me on a Saturday? Oh my gosh, too funny. Okay, next up, the first thing my eyes were drawn to when I opened this box. Night Stalkers calling threads, y'all. I do not own any of this, sadly. I got to stitch with it finally. I am currently in a uh, round robin, an ink circles round robin, and one of my stitch mates is... Um, using Night Stalker's Calling and it's been really lovely. So, and I was, oh, I love the way that they do their, their multi threads here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so our colors are, let's see, Smurfs. You probably read that. <laughs> Jane Jetson. <laughs> so cute. And Shaggy. Oh my God, the Scooby-Doo. These are so, again, the, just all the colors. I'm loving, 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 loving these. All right, Saturday cartoon thread pack dyed by Night Stalker's Calling. We asked John and Emily to create a trio of threads inspired by some of your favorite Saturday morning cartoons, Scooby-Doo, the Jetsons, and the Smurfs. We can't wait to see how you'll use these nostalgic threads. So good. Oh, love these. So these are cotton they feel like they don't feel like uh silk they feel like cotton um it doesn't say but yeah okay next up i'm seeing some fabric love of fabric fiber on a whim um and if you're new to these boxes potentially you do get to put your fabric preference in your preferences are not guaranteed but i will say in my experience of a couple of years of these boxes, I have so far always gotten my preference. So they're pretty good about, um, pretty good about that. So this is the colorway Cafe Olay, and this is a um, 32 count Belfast linen. It's a fat eighth. So let's see, uh, Cafe Olay fabric dyed by fiber on a whim. Your morning breakfast isn't complete without a cup of coffee to wake you up. Though we definitely didn't have this as a kid on Saturday mornings, very true. I didn't start drinking coffee till grad school. That's when it broke me. <laughs> we love this coffee inspired color from Fiber on a Whim. Standard fabric line, we love that. <laughs> it's a fantastic neutral and we think it might be perfect for our pattern this month. Oh, well, let me keep this handy so we can check that out. Gorge, love a neutral. Um, Oh no, <laughs> look at the little spoon with the little donut. Oh my gosh, that's too precious. <laughs> so it goes with the hoop loops, or sorry, uh, sorry, where am I? Donut spoon curated by the Black Needle Society. We couldn't send a cereal bowl without sending a spoon to eat your cereal with. This is a dainty little spoon. Get like three Cheerios on there, but very adorable. <laughs> very adorable. Love a complete set. And okay, I think last is the pattern. Let me double check here. Uh, yes. Okay. Last is the pattern, which this month's designer is Flossy Fox Shop. I have not looked directly at it. I've indirectly seen it. So here we go. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Here we go. Saturday morning. Okay, yeah, that neutral would look. This would be a great 
neutral for this. You know, this reminds me, I'm currently stitching something on um, Fox and Rabbit's baked clay. So it's very similar to that if you're familiar with baked clay. Maybe a little, it's a touch lighter, but oh my gosh, that's so great. We got the kitty, a little unicorn on the TV, little radio. This is a juice box. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me read the description. Lots of times they tell you things in the description. Who knew? Saturday morning's pattern designed by Flossie Fox Shop. We're excited to work with a new to the box designer for this month's pattern. I love it. I hope we get more Flossie Fox Shop. Their designs are so cute. We've been following Andrea on Instagram for quite some time. And when we came up with the idea to do this theme, she was the only designer we wanted to create a design for it. We love her use of color. And she even tucks some references into this pattern from favorite Saturday morning cartoons and characters, including Kermit and Miss Piggy, the Ninja Turtles, Garfield, Bugs Bunny, Beauty and the Beast, Tom and Jerry, Pokemon, and Totoro. Can you spot them all? Oh, I'm gonna have to take another glance at these. I do see a turtle and pizza, which I'm assuming that's like, you know, a Ninja Turtles thing. And I believe maybe this is an orange cat. Maybe that's Garfield. And maybe this is Totoro. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's freaking adorable. I wonder where, oh, there's a mouse for Tom and Jerry. And then maybe our little pig with a crown is Miss Piggy. Oh, so cute. So cute. Oh my goodness. That is an amazing box. I was, um, I was excited about this one. I wasn't really sure. Like, I, I don't know how they come up with these themes and come up with items that are so perfect. <laughs> I could not do it um but I was like oh yeah that sounds cool I just I don't even think I could visualize what they would send in a box like this but this is very adorable very amazing love this I gosh I don't even know what I would have to say my favorite item is in here that it might honestly be maybe I like these threads a lot <laughs> and the cereal bowl maybe and the fat, I mean the fabric as well. I don't know. It's all good. It's all good. It's always all good. Um, yes. Okay. Amazing. Wonderful. Another lovely bi-monthly box. I, like I said, I have to film this nearly immediately because I don't, I want to know. I don't want it sitting here. So, um, that is the box. I am happy to inform you if maybe you didn't catch my Gilmore Girls unboxing that I am officially a rep for the Black Needle Society, which means that they are sending me these bi-monthly boxes um, so I can share them with you, which is super exciting and wonderful. Um, I do have a discount code now as well. So when you watch a Black Needle Society unboxing. Um, unlike a lot of other boxes where everything is kind of exclusive to the box or maybe you don't know where they source that stuff from, you do have an opportunity to purchase items that you saw here in this unboxing um, separately pending there being extras available, but usually there are at least a few of everything. Um, so for this box, um, April 1st, April Fool's Day, April 1st at 10 a.m. Central, the Saturday morning stitching box extras. So this box extras, if there's anything that you were dying to have or that you loved, um, you're going to look for them at the Black Needle Society's website in their vault at 10 a.m. Central on April first and you can use my discount code WILDAWOMAN5 for to get 5% off your order. And then beyond that, like I said, I wanted to highlight. So let's look at the books they recommended now that we've seen what the box was. So their recommended reading with this box uh, are the titles Mr. Magic by Kirsten White and Opposite of Always by Justin Reynolds. So here, if you want to check those out at your local library, feel free to do so. <laughs> And then additionally, I want to highlight that there is a free to everyone. You don't have to be a BNS subscriber to participate in Books with BNS, which is the book club. Um, there is a Facebook group that you can join. There are questions, but that's just to filter out like bots and stuff. So again, don't stress. You don't have to be a subscriber. Um, 
And our next uh, Books with BNS meeting is April 6th. And the book is Mother, Mother Daughter Murder Night by Nina Simon. And I <laughs> have not read it yet because I am like 113th in line at my library. I did get a hot tip from a friend to try out Hoopla though, which I have used before, but I just didn't think to go look there. And it is available for immediately on Hoopla. So hoping to read that soon because it's getting to be the end of the month. So those are two big dates I want to, yeah, share with you. And let's see. Oh yeah, and on the 23rd is the monthly Stitch and Chat that is hosted by the Black Needle Society. So that'll be in a couple of days if you're watching this when this goes up, which is either going to be today the 20th or tomorrow the 21st. Um, so it's 6.30 p.m. Central till about midnight Central. We have a Zoom stitch with us. You own, again, don't have to, no cost to you. You can just join. The link is posted to the Black Needle Society's Facebook group. So you do have to be in the Facebook group. Um, and that's a monthly chat and it's very chill and you can pop in and out. You don't have to be locked in the whole time. You can come late, leave early if you need to. It's all very fun and we get to gush about stitching and very often books, movies, all kinds of media content and it's a great time. I'm sure we'll all be hyping up the Gilmore Girls Retreat that's later this month. So should be a good time. I hope to pop in myself, but yeah. Other than that, thank you if you stuck with me for the whole unboxing and I look forward to sharing these with you in the future. Have a great one, y'all. Bye. <laughs>